all the living organisms require energy to perform various life processes. Food is the fuel that provides energy to all the living organisms. Each organism is adapted to its environment and takes food from it. The process of taking nutrients from food is called nutrition. We know very well that all green plants synthesize their own food by the process of photosynthesis. But some living organisms cannot synthesize their own food. They depend on other sources for the supply of nutrients, including those required for energy production. They are called heterotrophs. Thus, heterotrophic mode of nutrition is a mode of nutrition in which organisms cannot make their own food from simple inorganic material and depend on other organisms for their food. Most of the bacteria, all fungi and all multicellular and complex animals are heterotrophs. The form of nutrition depends on the type and availability of food material and how it is obtained by an organism. Based on the ways in which organisms obtain their food, heterotrophic nutrition can be classified into three types. Saprophytic nutrition, parasitic nutrition and holozoic nutrition. Let us now discuss about the saprophytic nutrition. Sometimes we observe that something of black or blue color is present on bread. This is a type of fungi. Some bacteria and fungi depend on the dead organisms to obtain nutrients. They decompose and degrade the complex molecules present in these organisms to simple molecules. Bacteria and fungi absorb these simple molecules through their body surface. They are called saprophytes. Can you name some organisms which are saprophytic in nature? Mushrooms, yeast, bread molds etc. are saprophytic in nature. Now let us discuss about the parasitic mode of nutrition. Have you ever wondered how lice get their nutrition? They suck the blood from another organism's body. It is called parasitic mode of nutrition. The mode of nutrition in which an organism derives its food from the body of another organism without killing it is called parasitic mode of nutrition. Cascuta, Amarbel, Orchids, Ticks, Lice, Leeches, and Tapeworm are some parasites. The organism on which parasite depends is called host. Parasites extract the nutrients from the host organism and are harmful for their health. In case of parasitic mode of nutrition, the host is never benefited. Both animals and plants may serve as host. Holozoic mode of nutrition It is the type of nutrition in which an organism takes the complex food material into the body by the process of ingestion. The ingested food is digested and then absorbed into body cells. Size and nature of food consumed is different in different animals. They may consume either small microscopic or large plants or animals or both. Let's understand how unicellular organisms like amoeba and paramecium obtain their nutrition. Amoeba changes its shape and position by temporary conversion of plasma gel into plasma sol, followed by the flow of endoplasm under pressure to one end. As a result, finger-like processes known as pseudopodia are formed. Amoeba captures and engulfs its food by means of pseudopodia. Pseudopodia are formed at the point of contact between the surface of amoeba's body and food particle. As the amoeba moves forward, the undigested matter is shifted to the back and removed as food pallet through a temporary aperture formed at the nearby point on the cell membrane. Paramecium is also a unicellular organism. It possesses a definite shape and cilia around its body surface. These cilia sweep to form a swirl of water. As a result, the food particle is carried into the cytoplasm. A food vacuole is formed at the specific spot. This is the ingestion method of paramecium. As we studied about nutrition of unicellular and multicellular organisms, it is concluded that all heterotrophic organisms depend on other organisms for their nutrition. The mode of nutrition varies according to the type and availability of food material and how it is obtained by the organism.